YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Carl coming back at you from Golden Grimmer Productions. This time around, we'll be reacting to when a legendary trash talker got verbally owned by the GOAT trash talker. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. It helps us out tremendously. So we're going to get straight into this video. Talking is common in pro sports. Basketball great Larry Bird was one of the most legendary smack talkers of his time. When Reggie Miller was a rookie, he did his best to psych out the Hall of Famer and failed miserably. Luckily, this didn't stop Miller from having a storied NBA career. He was even fortunate enough to play for Bird from 1997 to 2000. When Miller entered the league in 1987, Bird and the Boston Celtics were already legendary. They had won three NBA championships in the 1980s, and Bird was the MVP three years running. But Miller didn't seem to care about any of that. In a snippet from his book, I Love Being the Enemy, Reggie recounts his story of razzing the All-Star. A close game between the Celtics and Pacers was coming down to free throws. With only 20 seconds left, Bird was fouled and sent to the free throw line. To distract him from making the shot, Miller tried trash talking, saying, Hey, hey. Bird, irritated by this, turned his head to look at Miller. You got to be kidding me, Rook. You got to be kidding me. He sunk the first free throw and continued on his rant. Rook, I'm the best shooter in the league right now. In the league, understand. And you're up here trying to say something. After he easily sunk the next shot, Miller said he felt like an idiot trying to get under the skin of the great Bird, especially in front of Bird's teammates who found the whole scene hilarious. In 2016, Reggie talked on how he felt as a rookie going up against Larry Legend. Miller explained he patterned his game after Bird and he will always root for him. I remember sitting in my dorm at UCLA and watching those great series between Boston and Magic and, and Bird and um, Magic is my mentor, I've said this on this show before, but I patterned my game, who I wanted to be like, who I wanted to play like, after Larry Bird, so I was torn. So, mm. I love them both, but, and to have a chance to play against Larry early on in my career, and then kind of be under his leadership when he took over as head coach, um, it was a thrill for me, because... It, it makes sense. It makes sense, literally, like, with Reggie being a shooter, uh, his game doesn't look like Larry's, but I mean, as a shooter, he definitely followed in Larry's um, footsteps. Now, was he as good a shooter as Larry? Volume-wise, probably, because the game was leaning towards more so of shooting more threes. But uh, as far as like a pure shooter, clutch moment, Reggie had some clutch moments, but Larry had more clutch moments in bigger games. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, Reggie was in the era, you know what I'm saying, losing to Jordan in the 90s. So, I mean, it is what it is. But I but I do think that um, Reggie is a very comparable shooter to Larry, but Larry's just a better shooter. Because that was, you know, one of the players that, you know, I really idolized and patterned my game after. The younger generation needs to go back in YouTube, man. Some of the stuff that, that kid did, man, I shouldn't say kid, that man... That man did. It was a bad boy. And what struck me is the first time I played him, and I had seen him before, obviously, uh, you know, he played in Magic's Midsummer Night's Magic the very first year. Mm -hmm. And I had met him once there, but to actually like lace up my tennis shoes and getting ready for jump ball and being on the court with him, when you walk up to Larry Bird, it's not like he is a small 6'9". He is a big 6'9 with long arms and I'm, like looking up at him like, oh my God, this is like Larry Legend. I'm saying this to myself when <laughs> he's my, this is Larry Legend, oh my God, keep it cool, keep it cool. And I remember in the garden, they had, you know, the, the game was closed and they were winning. And I'll remember this to the end of time. Um, we were shooting a free throw and I was at half court and he walks back to me and leans over and says, keep working hard, young fella, you're going to be a good one. This is Larry Bird. <laughs> I mean, he is Mr. Hoosier. He, he's from our state. Saying this to me, and I'm like, oh my God, Larry Bird just said you're going to be a good one. I, I, I look, I, hey, I, I'm sorry. There, there's certain people that you root for. Larry Bird is one of those guys I will always root for. In 2011, while discussing the best trash talkers in the history of the NBA on open court, Reggie admitted he learned to trash talk by watching the Celtics legend. I got a lot of my trash talking actually by watching, growing up in LA and watching the, the, the Boston and the LA series mm -hmm. was watching Larry Bird because you mentioned he was, and you didn't assume that he talked, but you knew he was talking oh, yeah. because him and Michael Cooper used to go at it all the time. Right. And to hear that Southern twang right. and to hear him talk and to hear him talk trash, 
It was priceless. Well, with Brett, Did you ever laugh? No, Did you ever oh, laugh? Oh, yeah, you laugh yeah, all the time. Despite making a fool of himself as a rookie, Miller went on to have a top-notch NBA career. He played for 18 years with the Indiana Pacers and is considered one of their best players ever. He was noted for his deadly three-point shooting, especially in clutch situations. Always a consistent free-throw shooter, he led the league in free-throw percentage five times throughout his career. Always one to play the bad guy, Miller loved to get under the opposing team's skin. He was a trash talker, cocky, and difficult to defend, but he could always back up his smack talking with his play. His finesse and shooting ability would earn him induction into the Hall of Fame in 2012. And yeah, that's what I think that's what makes them different. Reggie was known for more of being like a like when you think of Reggie Miller, unless you were in that era watching him play, he's known as a three point shooter. A lot of people know Larry for just all around game and while being a deadly three point shooter. Sometimes volume and numbers don't always tell the story as to how good somebody is as a shooter because they do a lot of other things great. Reggie probably shot majority threes for majority of his career, so his numbers were a lot higher, while Larry was a all-around better player, but a very clutch three-point shooter who would shoot it when it mattered the most. You know what I'm saying? So, Bird and Miller reunited again in 1997, but in a different capacity. Not as opponents, but instead as coach and player. Two of the best trash talkers were back together and working toward a common goal. That season was an incredible year for Miller and the Pacers. When Bird joined the organization as head coach, he had his doubters, but they were quickly silenced and won over by his vision and work ethic. Miller and Bird led the team to the Eastern Conference Finals in 1998, where they took Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls to a nail-biting Game 7 where the Bulls pulled off the win. That loss was tough to swallow, but the team regrouped and made it to the Eastern Conference Finals the following year in the NBA Finals in 2000. Miller's strong play and Bird's coaching tactics were part of the reason the team went so far. The success of the Pacers also brought the one-time rivals closer together. No longer were they competing against each other, but this trash-talking duo was looking to win the championship together. And that's the, that's the unfortunate thing. Miller had a phenomenal career. He ran into Jordan first, and then when he finally makes it to the finals, he runs into Kobe and, and Shaq. Like, bro, you can't make it up. Some players are just unfortunate. Like, uh, it's unfortunate in their career because, like I said, if those players weren't there, they might have had a chance of winning the title. That man ran into Jordan in the Eastern Conference Finals and then down the line runs into Shaq and Kobe. Like, you, you just can't make it up. Tell us in the comments, how do you think Reggie and Larry Legend will fare in today's NBA? If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channel. I think it's pretty I think this was a good short video. Um Larry Bird is the greatest trash talker of all time. Jordan is probably right behind him and then I think Reggie Miller is like right underneath. Just watching him and go him going back and forth with, uh, with Spike Lee. Yeah, it was crazy. But um I've enjoyed this video, man. It's been your boy Carl from Golden Grimmer Productions until the next one. Peace.